An angle bisector is a ray that takes an angle and divides it into two congruent angles. So if we have this angle here, angle A, B, C, I could draw in a ray that would perform an angle bisection. So if I drew this in, and again, I'm not constructing it here, it will divide this whole angle, ABC, into two congruent angles. So if I label this point D, then I could say that ray BD, so notice how I labeled that, is an angle bisector. So to differentiate my angles from L's, I like to draw a little arc through them. And therefore, we could say that angle ABD, which is the smaller angle, angle ABD, is congruent to DBC, the other angle. So we've got angle D, B, and C. Or the other way to say is the measure of the angles is equal, which comes in useful, and actually I need an M here, comes in useful when you have variables that you're trying to solve for. So in this example right here, we have a ray that is an angle bisector, which I can tell because it is being divided into two congruent angles, and I can find x because I know these angles must equal each other. So what are you going to do? You're going to say that 2x minus 6, which is one of your angles, is equal to your other angle, which is 6x minus 9. So when you see your homework problem that says find x when you have variables, just set them equal to each other if it is an angle bisector. So to solve this, just remembering what we did in algebra, we would subtract 2x from both sides. And we would have negative 6 is equal to 4x minus 9. And last, or second to last, we would add 9. So negative 9, excuse me, positive 9 and negative 6 is positive 3. And last, we would divide. And I see that I'm going to get a fraction. x is 3 fourths. So the way that we found x was saying that since this ray is an angle bisector, it will divide that angle into two congruent angles, and then we set them equal to each other and solved. So remember that when you're using angle bisectors, you are creating two congruent angles.